Yo, hello. No, where are you? The Statue of Liberty? No, no, no. That's in New Jersey, but you got to come lower. No, not DC. No, no, no. You, I don't think you're listening to me. No, you, you have to stay on the right-hand side of the road here in the States. Right-hand side. It's miles, not kilometers. <sighs> Just such a bad idea. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. For all of you that are new here, thank you for stopping by. Please like, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button. You know the drill by now. If you're not new here, you know it's all just shenanigans. It is my pleasure today to be riding with the Gorilla Biker himself, the big man. Now as you heard in the intro, there's been some confusion. Right side of the road, left side of the road, kilometers, miles. But luckily we're still able to communicate to make this vlog work, vlog work rather. So, he has challenged me with five questions and that is my challenge to you. If you wanna do the five challenge question, I ask you to do so. Send them to me, send them to Biker. Ask me to give you five questions to challenge you. These are communal, these are rough times. We're all dealing with COVID. We're all going a little out of our minds. So as the biker community, let's bond together and keep our sanity. All right. Bri, Bri the biker, I have some questions for you. So I know during our live stream together that you said what your favorite motorbicycle was, or your, your dream motorbicycle. But I want you to elaborate, please, Bri. I want you to give me more, Bri. And yes, I realize I'm asking these questions while fueling at a fuel station. And obviously we're talking live because this is a dual vlog. Which is, dream motorbike, question number one. I would have to say at this point, my dream bike would be the Harley Davidson Road Glide Ultra. But I will take it a step further. I want an Ultra with a 131 with four and a half inch pipes tuned out nice seat all the comforts of home i uh i'm big for a touring bike so that would be my dream bike in my current situation riding with this one on the back however if i had my druthers if it were my way frank sinatra saying that frank sinatra's from new jersey in case you're wondering there mr gorilla biker it would be a bmw r1250 gs with Tortec metal bags like my friend Ewan McGregor had in the long way around. So that's a good question. I like it. Your favorite YouTuber, Bri, and why? Important things. Favorite YouTuber and why? Leave out no detail. No, no detail is too large in this case, Bri. Ooh. Top that baby off. <laughs> this is a loaded question. In the motorcycle community, I'm not even going to answer that because there are so many great motorcycle content people and I don't want to single anybody out even if he's like a really tall gorilla-like guy. However, my personal favorite YouTuber in all genres has to be Potato Jet. If you've not followed Potato Jet, I absolutely love Potato Jet. He does uh, reviews on photography, cinema, uh, cinema work. Um, he's been a huge help in helping me learn about, um, get, not learning, but getting back into photography and learning about video work. And I just think he does a great job. His channel is is a little bit about uh, a little bit about everything. He also has a personal blog, and he has a dog named Lefty because Lefty's only got one front leg, and it happens to be the left one. But um, that would be my favorite non-motorcycle YouTube channel. As far as motorcycles though, in all seriousness, I think everybody, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have or not. If I find your content interesting, I watch it because I enjoy it. I just enjoy seeing other people enjoying riding. My next question, Bry of the Biker, 
is one that I bet you aren't expecting, or maybe you are. Maybe you are in. The next question is, is quite simple. What is your dream location to ride in the world? Uh, it doesn't have to be one place, so pick as many dream places as you'd like, and please explain why they are your dream places to ride. I will go so far, I will, okay, let's, let's do it in two parts. Let's go national and international. National, I'd want to ride out west. I'd like to see the Grand Canyon, the Badlands, um, anything out west. I'd love to go through some of the ghost towns out west and ride. The Pacific Coast Highway would be one of them. But the big one that if I, if I had the choice would be to ride from my house in New Jersey all the way to Seattle, Washington, up through Canada and to go to Alaska. Alaska has always been a dream ride. I hope that we can one day make that happen. Um, don't know how realistic that'll be, but that would be my dream ride. Other rides outside the country, I'd love to ride in Australia. I'd love to ride in Ireland so I can hang out with you, good sir. Um, and just see the landscape. It looks amazing for photography and so forth. I'd like to ride in Scotland. Um, I don't know, Italy. Italy, I think, would be good too. Um, just to get out there and, and you know, try some different places to ride. And uh, yeah, th those would be, my, uh, would be my dream rides for sure. Number four, if you buy a new bike, what is the first modification you have to make? What's your, what is your absolute hand on heart, the one thing that you have to do every time to make that bike yours? And why? That's an interesting question, and I'm gonna be the first to admit I am not a gearhead. I, uh, I'm a rider. I like to ride. Um, I'm not really into specs on my bike. I may or may not have been the guy on the podcast I was on that said I had a five gallon tank when I really had a six. I'm sorry, I said I had a six gallon tank when I really had a five. See how confused I am? I had no idea what I'm doing. Um, I think the modification to make it my own, if I stayed with a Harley Davidson, it would have to be pipes. Um, I really like the sound of my bike. I like the way my Reinhardt four inch pipes sound. And I think it gives the, a bike your, its spirit. It gives it its soul. So that's, a, that's the one thing that we looked for on bikes. We were looking at two bikes at the time. One had Screaming Eagles and one had Reinhardt's. This being the one that had Reinhardt's. And there was just no comparison. I mean, these just have a great growl, but they shut down when you're at high speed as far as the noise. So I think pipes would be my first one. Um, that's a trick. That's a, that's a hard question, but I think pipes would be what kind of defines the bike being your own. Mm, but you know, uh, maybe handlebars, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go with pipes, that's my final answer, but when I buy my next bike, you can make fun of me when I don't do that. Question number five, Bri. The last question in my, my load of questions is, easier one I suppose or maybe it's harder you know what was or is your dream career growing up or now uh, either is fine what would you really 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 like to do what did you really really want to be when you were younger hmm. well my dream coming growing up as a kid was to be a professional photojournalist um, and I was lucky enough to pursue that dream I was the youngest uh, staff photographer ever at the newspaper I worked at when I was 19 um, that was a passion that I really had. I did mostly sports photography and spot news, fires, accidents, things like that. And it's a career that I really enjoyed. Um, unfortunately, now being 48 years old, newspapers are kind of a thing of the past. Um, and it's, it's not really a prevalent thing. However, I was lucky enough in my current role at my current job to start doing video production. So it's kind of my dream job still. Um, gives me a chance to create on a daily basis and play with a lot of new technology and buy all kinds of expensive toys on somebody else's dime. So I think that that's what it would be. Now, if I had a chance to redo it, hmm, not gonna lie, I think I would have been a therapist. 
I think that there's a part of me that really um, would enjoy that and helping others and um, you know seeing being especially in these day and age with the people um, really struggle with mental health I think that that would be an admirable career with something I think I would really enjoy and um, so that would be if I could change my career I'd want to be a psychotherapist and help others um, the joke at work is I'm the hostage negotiator that I'm always the one that talks people off the ledge so I don't know maybe that would have been a good career but currently I am in charge of doing marketing communications work, digital marketing. I do all the uh, in-house video work for our company. So that would be, uh, that is what I do now. And that uh, sort of goes to what the career was that I dreamed of growing up. A little bit different medium, but it's still in that uh, communication realm. So I want to thank you, Mr. Gorilla Biker, for doing this. I also want to thank you for your friendship and your inspiration in doing YouTube. I really appreciate this. Really appreciate the five questions. And uh, I hope that we can continue this. I think that if you have five questions you want to send to me, if somebody wants to send five questions to Mr. The Gorilla Biker, please do so. And challenge yourself. Let's learn five things about you that we didn't know. The thing that I love about motorcycle riding is learning about others. And I think this is a great opportunity to do that, especially in times when we all can't hang out in our packs and ride together. So the challenge is send five questions to me, put them in the comments, send, it, send me an email, find me on the 530 Bikers Discord, I want five questions from you. I'm more than happy to send you five questions at your request. Please do this, consider doing the same thing to Mr. Gorilla Biker. And um, that's it. But Gorilla Biker was nice enough to make a wonderful outro for my outro crew as we gain subscribers. Another thing I'd like to just shamelessly plug is please like and subscribe to my channel. We are growing slowly videos have been a little hard to do with some things going on in life but i appreciate you guys as always so mr the gorilla biker take it to the outro sir Roy, thank you for having me on in this long distance isolation jewel vlog uh, awesome idea uh, it's actually funny because we talked about this and then not very long after being here now with percy inquired about the same thing which is really cool and I would happily do this with as many people as want to do it with me because you know it's something different it's something different and I, I like I like that I like doing different things so yeah thank you for having me on I hope you're well I hope you're keeping well and uh, I hope you enjoy doing this jewel vlog thingamajig long range jewel vlog adios <laughs> I was a way better adios. To Brian's outro crew. What bike would you like to see Brian on in the future? What's his, what do you think suits his personality? I think a Jixxer 1000 Brian. I'd like to see on a Jixxer for no other reason than I'd like to hear your screams as you laid on that throttle. <laughs> okay, I'm gone now, goodbye.